dear students i welcome you all in rayat online school education that is roz project 2021-22 i am mrs patil yasdi from sadguru gadge maharaj college karad subject english students today we are going to learn our unit number 1.4 Pillars of Democracy by Dr. Baba Sahib Ambedkar from Section One, Quotes of our Textbook. One point four Pillars of Democracy. Students, we have divided this unit into two parts. Today we are going to study Part First of Pillars of Democracy by Dr. B. R. Ambedkar. Firstly, we are going to solve ice breakers. Let us see first activity of ice breakers. Discuss with your partner and choose the correct alternative. One, government of the people. by the people and for the people shall not perish from the earth this famous statement is made by option a mahatma gandhi b abraham lincoln c nelson mandela d dalai lama answer is abraham lincoln system where the government is elected and ruled by people is called a bureaucracy b aristocracy c democracy d autocracy answer is democracy democratic country is governed by its a military b police c politicians d constitution answer is constitution c next activity the trinity of democracy comprises three principles complete the web show the trinity of democracy you have to complete this web of trinity of democracy let us see answers of trinity of democracy first liberty second equality third fraternity thus liberty equality and fraternity is the trinity of democracy next activity is match the following see there are two columns column a and column b now i am going to read column a listen carefully one constitution two liberty three equality four fraternity now i will read column b a it is the freedom to go where you want do what you want etc b It is the state of being equal, especially in status, rights, or opportunities. C. It is the sense of common brotherhood. D. It is an aggregate of fundamental principles or established precedents that constitute the legal basis of a polity, organization. 
other type of entity and commonly determine how that entity is to be governed. Now we have to match column A with column B. Let us see answers. See, one constitution answer is D. Constitution is an aggregate of fundamental principles or established precedents that constitute the legal basis of a polity, organization or other type of entity and commonly determine how that entity is to be governed to liberty. Answer is A. See, liberty it is the freedom go where you want, do what you want, etc. C. Equality. Answer is B. Equality. It is the state of being equal, especially in status, rights or opportunities. Fourth is fraternity. Answer is C. C. Fraternity. It is the sense of common brotherhood. Let us see next activity. Pillars form support for concrete buildings. Metaphorically speaking, a strong nation who depends on strong pillars. Discuss with your partner and explain the pillars of a democratic nation. Make a list of obstacles that are a threat to the progress of a nation. See, four pillars of democracy are First, Legislative Executive Third, Judiciary Fourth, Media Thus, Legislative, Executive, Judiciary, Media are the four pillars of democracy. Let us see obstacles that are threat to the progress of the nation. First is gender inequality. Next, corruption. Next, poverty. Next, terrorism. Next, large growing population. Next is literacy, pandemics like COVID-19 and casteism. See, gender inequality, corruption, poverty, terrorism, large growing population, literacy, Pandemics like COVID-19, fascism are the obstacles that are threat the progress of the nation. Do the writer, Dr. B. R. Ambedkar was born on 13th April 1891. In the town and military cantonment of Mahu, now Dr. Ambedkar Nagar in Madhya Pradesh, he got his degree from Elphiston College, Mumbai. He subsequently obtained a doctorate from Columbia University, USA and London School of Economics. He was also assigned a the big and challenging task of framing the constitution of India. He was awarded the Bharat Ratna posthumously for his dedication and commitment for the welfare of our country. He wrote various thought 
provoking books about the title importance of pillars pillars give vertical support pillars give solid foundation pillars ensure stability pillars add strength therefore the pillars of democracy refer to the intellectual foundations that support the philosophy of democracy the strength of democracy depends upon the strength of each pillar and the way pillars complicate each other about the theme dr baba saheb ambedkar has laid emphasis on the values of liberty equality and fraternity according to him these principles will make india a strong nation these principles make our life livable he opines that hero worship is a sure road to degradation and to eventual dictatorship and the collapse of a nation he shows the threats of such hero worship and ask the readers to keep away from such thinking about the lesson according to dr baba saheb ambedkar for maintaining democracy not in form but in act it needs to do the following things to hold fast to constitutional methods for achieving our social and economic objectives do not use any unconstitutional methods as these methods create the grammar of anarchy leading liberty at stake one should not lay liberties at the feet of even a great man the man may have sacrificed for the nation but it is not justified one lay liberty at his feet let us see two words grammar of anarchy means a state of disorder due to the absence of non recognition of controlling system one should not trust the man with powers which enable him to subvert the institutions it is dangerous to liberty of the people there is nothing wrong in being grateful to great men but there are limits to the gratefulness it is not good for democracy if the limits are exceeded in this concern irish patriot daniel o'canel says that no man can be grateful at the cost of his honor no woman can be grateful at the cost of her chastity and no nation can be grateful at the cost of liberty let us see two words subvert subvert means undermine the power and authority of an established system or institution exceeded means go beyond what is allowed chastity chastity means purity here dr ambedkar has given an example of bhakti it subtly fits 
the gratefulness theory in india bhakti or hero worship plays diametrically opposite roles in indian religion and indian politics Dr Ambedkar says on the 26th of January 1950 we are going to enter into a life of contradictions the indian people will get political right of equality but they are away from equality in social and economic life in politics the principle is one man one oat and one oat one value but the same principle is not applied in social and political life of india let us see new words hero worship hero worship means excessive admiration for somebody contradiction contradiction means a combination of statements ideas or features which are opposed to one another dr ambedkar says if we continue deny one man one value that is equality in our social and economic life we are putting our democracy in peril fraternity means a sense of common brotherhood of all indians according to dr baba saheb ambedkar it is not easy to h fraternity in indian social life let us see new words peril danger or risk students we will see remaining part of this unit in the next lecture thank you